In this video, I'm going to show you some really simple ways to beat the blitz, to beat man coverage uh, out of the trips tied in. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. If you want to get my trips tied in ebook, make sure you are a Patreon member. Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks. We're dropping a trips tied in update next week for you guys. I actually dropped a massive update to the bunch stuff. We dropped a brand new defensive ebook yesterday as well. Uh, we've got 13 ebooks in the Patreon. So if you want to become a member, the link is in the description today we're in new england's playbook we're gonna be talking about the play drive post and why i think this is the best play against man coverage in um in maybe in the entire game definitely in trip side in in my opinion so uh the setup's real simple we're gonna see route the solo receiver or the outside trips receiver i'm sorry um if you don't have outside apprentice put him on a smart routed in it'll still work uh, but really, we're wanting to showcase the power of the C-Route, okay? Uh, the C-Route is probably the best and most consistent man-beater in this game. Uh, so we want to have the access to that. That's going to force them to have to make adjustments uh, in their man-to-man. -man. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to slant the middle trips receiver. We're going to block our running back, and we're going to motion this middle trips receiver across. And we're going to snap the ball kind of right when he gets over there. Now what you're going to see is this outside apprentice, if that C route gets space and separation, you can throw that one on one. And what I like to do is high ball pass lead outside. Real simple, high ball pass lead outside, that's a great read. And um, you know, again, if it's open, throw it, if it's not, don't. And it's really that simple. Um, but the next route I want to show you is this tight end route. So this tight end route is one of the better man-beating routes in the game. You'll see here, um, my tight end's not the best route runner by any means, it's actually really bad. Um, but I can still hit uh, this tight end on this play. So, uh, again, you know, just want to show you some, some simple stuff. But this is the setup in this tight end corner. Uh, right when he cuts, pass lead down and outside. I'm free forming it down and outside away from the DB, and you see that it's getting open. Now, if you're watching this video and you say, I don't like the spacing for that against zone, what you can do, a real simple adjustment, is to go ahead and put the tight end on an out route. This is going to make it so that you have a high low on the right side if they are in zone. Um, I find the corner route is is better. Okay, so that's just my two cents, my opinion for you guys. Um, you know, but anyways, let's move on to the next route. So they're gonna have to drop a zone over there. They're gonna have to maybe do something like this on the left side to stop the solo receiver or the outside trips receiver. I don't know why I keep calling the solo receiver, but anyway. So then what's going to happen is the middle of the field is now going to become open. So now this post route to Godwin is a very, very good route against man. Um, if you have short and elite, which I recommend short and elite on your tight end, I recommend short and elite on your slot, your two uh, slot receivers and trips. And then if you want on the outside receiver to put short out elite on him, then you're going to be really, really effective um, against man to man. Okay, uh, but what makes this route so good is not just that it gets open against man, but it gets open fairly quickly. Um, you're going to see here, he's only going to take a couple steps, and then he's already cutting. It's, it's like a deep slant to a degree, um, and so it's really, really effective for, uh, for against man. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is this motion slant. Now, if you, if you want to, you can leave him on this drag route and just use a motion drag. Motion drags this year are actually pretty decent against man. See how good that is? Pretty, it, it may even be a little better against against man to be honest with you. So that was the drag and then I'll show you what the slant looks like. Um, we've kind of just used slants for years. Uh, I will show you real quick. So you'll see that this slant route, it does get open. That time I actually got pretty good separation. It doesn't always get the best separation. So if you want to just leave the drag, be my guest. And now you have high lows on both sides, right? You just have simple high low reads on both sides of this formation and uh, being able to attack the whole area of the field. So again, it's a simple shallow cross. That time my post wins, so I'm going to throw it to him. Okay? I normally slant him, but you can feel free to drag him if you want to or just leave him on the drag. And then you can run it just like this. This is real simple. Um, you know, in this drag, you'll see a lot for the majority of the time he'll beat man coverage. Okay. So how does this play do against the blitz? Well, I'm glad you asked actually pretty decent. So, uh, if they're going to send spinner, typically speaking, you're going to get something that looks kind of like this. Okay. Um, 
we are blocking our running back, so we can set up some pass protection. If we have time, just a split second to hit that C route. If that's open, you want to take that against Spinner, and I'll show you again. Uh, so again, if they're in Spinner, you know maybe they're setting their adjustments up like something like this. We're going to, um, you know, just run this real simple. You only, I think, you really only have two hot routes if you leave the drag. Uh, but what you'll see here is if we get a split second to throw that that C route, now they have to make adjustments, right? So one of the adjustments that they're going to have to make um, is they're going to have to outside third this this um, this this uh, corner that is guarding uh, that is guarding Mike Evans. Okay, so they have to be here. And they have to make that adjustment. And then the next thing that they're going to have to do, again, they're going to have to have that outside third up there. So now that's going to take our C route away. Uh, but now we have other things, right? So our quick read here to our tight end. So C route, that's not there, but our tight end route, tight end corner is right there, as you see right there. So now our tight end is open. How, what's the best way for them to combat the tight end? Really, honestly, the best thing they can do to stop the tight end route in this, from what I have experienced, is they're going to want to drop a zone or user over here on the tight end route. What this is going to do, and this is why Drive Post is such a good blitz beater, is it's going to leave this post to Godwin wide open, and it will get open fairly quickly. So again here, now I did get kind of a glitchy disengage, but you saw Godwin was wide open over the middle. So as long as I have just literally like a split second uh, to be able to put the ball out there, I'm going to be able to beat the coverage really quickly. I can either hit my tight end if they're not going to use the tight end, or I can go step up in the pocket and hit hit Chris Godwin. And right there, my running back kind of hung me out to dry, but I'll show you one more time. Again, Spinner's really good. It's probably one of the better blitzes in the game. We actually just released an entire dollar three two six ebook um, and showed how to stop some of the best formations in the game. But the thing I will say is if you can get this picked up just for a second uh, to be able to step up and make a read here, which we are able to do right here, you see that post is wide open, and if you've got a good player right there, you're going to be able to get out and potentially be in the end zone for a touchdown. Okay, so that is my favorite uh, blitz beater, man beater. Love this against man. Um, if if I think they're in zone, um, this play is not as good against zone, but actually is not bad either. Um, you're going to basically want to use your high low over the middle of the field and probably check down to your drag. And if they go to the drag as a user option, then you're going to want to hit your posts. Real simple play, but one of my favorites right now. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I want to encourage you, if you have not joined our Patreon, make sure to join that. It's only $10, and you're going to get access to a ton of material. We've got 13 offensive and defensive eBooks, including the dollar three two six that we released yesterday. Kind of put our spin on a very popular defense. Uh, but we also have another, a ton of other eBooks as well. Big Nickel Over G, Nickel Over. Uh, we've got a ton of offenses. We have Washington Bunch, Washington Tight, Washington uh, Bunch Open Tight End, U Trips, Trips Tight End, um, Gun Bunch out of Pittsburgh. A lot of really good stuff. So if you want to get in the Patreon, head down to the description. The link is in the description below. You just click that link, and we hope to see you guys uh, over at the Patreon page.